Let's begin with how it was discovered. Ethylene dichloride was accidentally found by three gentlemen when they mixed together ethylene gas with chlorine. Since its discovery, EDC was widely used to produce polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Usually, ethylene dichloride is produced by a process called direct chlorination. Direct chlorination is the addition of chlorine ions into the carbon chains of the ethylene with iron 3 chloride acting as the catalyst. The plant designed for production of ethylene dichloride used direct chlorination process in the gas phase. This method selection is based on the consideration that the process takes place in low conditions, low pressure and temperature, and raw materials are easily obtained. First process equation is as follows. It is an exothermic reaction. From operating conditions consideration and reaction ease of raw materials, this reaction uses the gas phase reaction. The reaction process that occurs with a yield of 98% is as follows. In the direct chlorination process, ethylene is treated with chlorine to produce ethylene dichloride. This process is done in the presence of metallic chloride or ethylene dibromide as catalysts operating at temperature 400 degrees Celsius to 1400 degrees Celsius and pressure 0.1 to 0.5 MPa or 14.7 to 72.5 psi. Reaction scheme for the process with catalyst is as follows. Next, let us see the process flow diagram involved in the production of EDC. In direct chlorination, there is a reactor, where the materials is fed and chlorination takes place. Next to it we have a purifier, acting as some sort of a filter to recycle back unreacted materials. And lastly, the storage tank to store our EDC. Direct chlorination of ethylene in a bubble column reactor. The diagram shows the ethylene dichloride synthesis EDC, through direct chlorination of ethylene in a bubble column reactor with external recirculation loop at steady state condition. First, the gaseous ethylene and chlorine are fed into the reactor through different streams. Then, the reactants are diffused, dissolved and reacting in the liquid medium to convert to EDC with the presence of a homogeneous catalyst such as ferric chloride or ethylene dibromide. The liquid product is EDC in the gaseous effluent or EDC in oxygen where oxygen enters the reactor as an impurity in the chlorine gas stream. Due to the existing difference in density between heterogeneous and thermal exchange zones, the recirculation of the liquid phase can be achieved. The circulating reactor design facilitate the conversion of EDC. The optimum operating conditions are temperature between 50 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius and pressure between 1.5 to 2 atmospheres. 